Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 11 of Quest for Creative. In yesterday's episode, everything went, well, tits up, and everything just kind of fell apart on me. But today, I'm not going to... I'm not going to go back and, and, and... Hang on, I gotta go take care of something. Vengeance is mine at last. Wait a second. I killed myself. So if I want vengeance, I would have to kill myself. Eh, best not to think about it. I feel better now. Okay, so now that that's taken care of, let us take care of another problem that has come up. And this is something that's inevitable to happen, well to have problems in general. When you start throwing all of these things together, uh, things tend to break and, and get messed up a little bit. Um, what is breaking is these guys, the thermal expansion ducts. And let's see. Oh, nope, it's not showing. It's not doing it this time. They are iffy, and they're driving me bonkers. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, so... The autonomous activators aren't outputting like they should. They aren't getting pulled into the docks and off into the lockers of infinity like they should. Um, these aren't going anywhere. And it, it's kind of driving me nuts. They break every now and then. They, like, lose connection to the lockers. And I have to basically rip all of them out and put them all back in. And I'm sick of it. So, I did a little bit of research. Not a lot, just a little bit of research. And I think I've come up with a possible solution to the problem. And uh, that would be Project Red. And I don't think I have enough to do everything that I need to do. But I should have enough to at least get started. Um... Let's see, where is... Yes, I have a crescent answer, hammer. The first thing I need to do is actually rip out all of the pipes that lead from the output chests to the lockers. That means I have to rip out all of the all of the pipes under these lockers. Oh, God, I hate doing this. But it should be the last time, at least. Um, no, that bud. <laughs> this, this may take a few minutes. Um, talk amongst yourselves. All right, I think that's all of them. I didn't pull out all of the pipes because, like, uh, the short trips, like those over there and for the machinery here and over, well, over there, uh, they seem to work. I think the problem is when they're in, when it, they're spread across, like, a whole bunch of different chunks, and then as you get further away, the chunks unload, obviously, in order. And, and they start losing connections with themselves. That's what I think is going on. And I'm hoping that the uh, 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 pipes work better. Um, oh, hey, look, I found a trophy, or witch trophy. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Get witched. Okay. <laughs> um... But yeah, I did find a bunch of stuff that was stuck in the pipes. Uh, rubber, cotton. Uh, I found a whole bunch of sand. Um, remember when I, was, when I tried to open the sand chest and I went, oh, it's not doing it? Well, that's why. It's because all of these stacks of sand were in the pipe underneath here. They were all jammed up. 
at everything, and it just didn't work, obviously. So we will put these away, and then we will do something that is relatively complicated. Um, I'm just going to jam that crap in there for now. All right, so this this is a little confusing for me. I don't fully understand that I just learned how to do this stuff today. So let's see what we can do. Let's see. Uh, all right. So the pipes, the red power pipes work on an interesting uh, method. Every time you have to in interact with an inventory, you need an interface pipe. Every time you have a junction, you need a junction pipe. In between these, you can use transport pipes. And then you can use routed request pipes to actually interact directly with your inventory. And it's really neat, and I'll get to that in a minute. But to make these routed interface pipes work properly, you need these chips. Uh, broadcaster chip. Actually, the broadcaster chips work with the request pipe, but I'm going to be using them anyways. Uh, the responder chips are kind of required, and the extractor chips are also required. The respond. Well, no, I'll leave those there for now. Uh, the... Yeah, the broadcaster chips work with the request pipe. The responder chips work with the inter or go into the interface pipe, and they um, like talk to each other. Uh, they talk with the extractor chips. Yeah, that's it. Uh, the responder chips talk with the extractor chips. The extractor chips pull items out of chests, and the responder chips say. Yeah, I'm open. Send it my way. And then it goes through the transport pipes, gets routed with the junction pipes, and then gets interfaced with the chest with the interface pipes. Oh, yeah, that's a little confusing. <laughs> All righty. Um, so the first thing I need to do, let's start with connecting... Uh, what do I start with? Ooh, I know what I could start with. Let's start with the chicken and the feathers. Uh, even though our feather locker is full, but our chicken locker is not. So we will start right here boop, with our output chest here. And then we take a, um, yeah, interface pipe. Boop. Go with an item extractor chip. Now, if you... Uh, yeah, shift right click, but I just want to make sure I'm only doing this with one. Because it can get a little confusing. You could shift right click with the entire stack, but I don't think it affects the entire stack. So, uh, let's see. What do I have to do? I have to set the filter to blacklist. That way it pulls anything it gets in that chest out of the chest. Uh, and this is for extra filter stuff, which is really cool and all, but I'm not going to deal with that. And then we just right click on the interface pipe. You know, like right click once with the chip in hand, it puts the chip in the interface pipe, right click again, empty handed, you can see what all has been added to the interface pipe. Whew. Now I guess technically I could probably put a res uh, responder chip into there as well, and it could act as a storage chest. So I could leave like all the chicken and the feathers in here, but I don't want to do that. All right, so let's take our transport pipe now, I know that we're going to have a pipe going that way, so let us put a junction pipe there. This is really fancy mod, I swear. All right, and there's locker number one. That's the one with the feathers. That's the one with the uh, chicken. Let us pop these, because I'm going to need direct access to this stuff anyways. Uh, let's see. Interface pipe. Interface pipe. Crap. Um, micro blocks, micro blocks. I need micro blocks. Uh, I think this is how it works. I mean, it's all red power. Boop. Yes, okay. The, we can use the micro blocks to block off the connections for the pipes. Okay. Watch out for mobs. All right, so this one's going to be chicken, so I need a chicken. This one's going to be feather, so I need a feather. And then we take our item extractor chips. 
We're going to need two of them. So we shift right click. We go into our filter. One of these filters is going to be for chicken. So we want to leave the filter mode as whitelist. So it's only going to whitelist cook chicken. And then we put that in there. And then we take the other item extractor chip, go into our filter and set it to feathers. And we still want it whitelisted. What does the other button do? Um, oh, I have no idea. I really don't. Uh, I think that's more advanced on how chests work in the game. And, um, yeah, I just never dove into that. All right, now let's go here. And then I'm going to put another junction pipe here because, again, I'm going to put a pipe going down to the ejector eventually. So we want a junction pipe there. And you don't have to worry about putting junction pipes up there. The interface pipes will take care of that. And then we just put our transport pipes. Bloop, 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 and a bloop. All right, now, if I set this up properly, um, probably nothing will happen because we don't have any chicken in here. Oh, we do. Um, what did I do wrong? That's the extractor chip. Well, no, pick it up. Uh, filter mode blacklist, yeah. Bloop. Yes, no, maybe? Wait, what's going on? Oh, whoopsie doodle. I use the extractor chips. Why can't I put things in my inventory? Yeah, I don't want the extractor chips. I want the responder chips. My bad. All right, so let's try this again. Bloop. Set the filter to, uh, yeah, whitelist, cooked chicken. Put that in there. And then in theory, we should actually get some cooked chicken coming down the pipe. Yep, there it goes. Bloop. Right on in. And then we set this one's, uh, whitelist to the feathers put that in and then nothing should happen oh oh it realized i had one open spot for a feather oh and these things work so much faster than the freaking ducks too oh i love it all right and then what we can do we'll go down here Woo. and let's see responder 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 no, um, I need a routed interface pipe to go there. I will need a responder chip to go in here, but this one's going to be slightly different. Um, that one. Okay, where it says priority. We will set the priority to negative one. And then what that means is that anything else anything else will have a higher priority so all of the feathers like uh like our feather locker up here uh if it wasn't completely full all the feathers would go into here until it's completely full and then all of the feathers will come out here and then um i have my overflow that i want Boop. and now all the feathers should be coming down the pipe in theory. Oh, did I leave that? I set that. I left that at whitelist, didn't I? Hang on. Oh, freaking inventory glitches. Yeah, we're set to whitelist. I want this set to blacklist because I want everything to become able to come through there. And I keep doing that. Yeah, preference negative one, mode blacklist, boop. Now all the feathers should be coming down the pipe. Oh, something broke. Um, <laughs> okay, well, I found something that's broken in my designs. <laughs> Pop you. Put you back. Why aren't you pulsing like you should? This line should turn off the line. Oh, I bet you it's full. And I bet you it's because it's full. Hmm. Yeah. 
There we go. Something else broke, apparently, and it, uh, yeah. Now the feathers are coming down. It's because I, oh, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. How do I fix that problem? The problem that's going on, oh, and I could probably fix that with just a hopper. But the problem that's going on is that the pipes, the ducts, would output stacks at a time. So 64 at a time. So it would go into the dropper. Well, we would get nine things in the dropper. That would make the signal coming from the dropper full power, 15. But the signal to the redstone to here was only 13. And the comparator fires, lights up, when the signal inside is greater than the signal outside. So that's how that works. You're loud and annoying. <sighs> All right, let's get the crap out of here. Go away. All righty. Well, I can still hear that from frickin' up here. All right, anyway, so, um, like I said, if I take a stack out of here, the feathers, um, should start going up. Yes, they start going up. Uh, that one feather went down because its path was already set. Their paths, I think, are set when they get ejected. Um, so it will go... It it went down because it was already set to go down. Um, doop. Okay. Go away. Oh, and it just... Yeah, there it goes. But it just realized that it needed to go down. Um... I like these things. I really hope they don't break when the chunks unloaded. Unload. I really do. Um, now, there are ways to upgrade these chips. The extractor chips and the responder chips and all the other chips. There are ways to upgrade them. Upgrade them so that instead of outputting, like, a few at a time. Like, we're only outputting, like, five or six at a time or something like that. Uh, 32. 24. So it would be, yes, eight. Eight at a time. We're only outputting eight at a time. Um, now, you can you can upgrade these to output an entire stack, and you can out upgrade them to output faster than this as well. But uh, I don't know if I need it. I think the only place I need it is actually in the zombie spawner down here. That might be the only place I need it. Um... There are 12 of you bastards, aren't there? We may be going back to the ducks just for the autonomous activators, just for, like, this chunk of here, and then putting a chest here, and then connecting the pipes to the chest. That might make that a little easier. Um, but now what I've got to do, I have to tear out this entire area. <laughs> And put the routed, uh, these guys, the routed interface pipes in here. And then put their respective, uh, upgrades in there. But let's have some fun first. Um, we'll put it right here for now. Let us, oh, I will need a, uh, junction pipe if I'm going to put it there away uh let's see junction pipe bloop and then i want just a regular transport pipe there to push it up high enough and one more thing Woo. and that would be this guy right here the request pipe now the request pipe i think is actually pretty cool bloop and what it does is it will actually grab all of the data of all of the things that are in your inventory. Um, it's not showing anything right now because we need these guys, the item broadcaster chips. That's what I was saying. We need the broadcaster chips. Um, again, you have to set these. Uh, you have to turn off the filter. And what else we got? We set the we turn off the filter. 
Oh, I keep doing it. What else? We got a priority, which will priority which chest things get counted from. Orientation, extract orientation. I don't know. All right, so now we have two up upgrades. We have the responder chip and we have the broadcaster chip. So now if I go the router request pipe, it doesn't do fuck all. What did I do wrong? I, uh, freaking inventory. Because you set yourself back to blacklist. Or whitelist. I don't want whitelist. I want blacklist. Or did I set that to whitelist thinking that it was already set? Oh, it is already set. Awesome. Okay, then I don't have to set these things, though that's now considered a different object for some reason. All right, so it was set to blacklist. I set it to whitelist. I wasn't paying attention. Now if we look at this thing, we can see that I have 3,000 feathers and 1,000 cooked chicken. Oh, this is going to be fun when I connect the rest of the lockers of infinity. Uh, but I don't think I even have enough, um, I don't have enough, like, responder chips or broadcaster chips. I guarantee it. Um, yeah. So, let's see. Routed interface pipe. This is going to take some time. Uh, the advantage of this stuff, I guess, technically, is that I don't have to worry about, like, I can put pipes in like this. And no items will go into the other chest, even if there is free space, um, unless I put chips in, which is cool. I like that. So I can put in all of these, and I don't have to worry about things breaking while I go to make the rest of the chips that I need, because I need a lot of chips. And that's going to be a slight problem. Plus, I have to connect all of these pipes together, and I have to figure out what I want to do here. Because this, I mean, right here, I have, uh, yeah, I had 16 total extractor chips. That's 12 that I would need right there to begin with. Um, so I may just go back to the ducts, because I have a whole crap ton of ducts free. And I'll, um... Just put a chest here or something, and then one extractor chip there. That will make life easy, I guess. Uh, oh, there's so much I have to do. But I shall get started. And there we have it. The lockers of infinity are completely accounted for. Wait, are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 33, 34, 35. Yeah, that sounds about right. 35 items I got out of the lockers of infinity. Um, oh, because it's doing sacred rubber saplings as well as the rubber saplings. I was wondering why they were showing up in two places. Uh, apparently I can request things too, but I don't even know if I have that set up. Uh, cotton. Let's request 12. No. That's not the button I want. Cotton. Submit. Successfully requested five of cotton. Now, in theory, I should actually get the cotton. But I don't know. Oh, well, that answers that question. <laughs> yes, um, that's going to get moved because the chickens are loud and annoying. But at least now I can take anything, just random spare inventory I happen to have in my chest. And if I know it goes somewhere, like the glowstone and the redstone, I can just throw them in any of the random chests and they'll go off into the lockers of infinity. Hopefully, that means that I don't have to uh, worry about it unloading. I guess I'll find out in the next few days if I have to worry about it unloading the chunks and breaking the pipes. Um, yeah, I, I, I did remake all of the... Or I did make... Yeah, there we go. Extra responder chips and broadcaster chips um because i realized that if say the uh, rubber sapling locker didn't have a responder chip in it 
it instantly went down underground and shot out the ejector that I have set up and sat there to despawn. So I was losing things. I thought it wasn't going to be a problem, but I, I, I didn't realize that I would have lost things. Uh, but I caught it qu pretty quick. I didn't lose anything that, I, that I'm really worried about, especially the raw rubber. I'm completely full on raw rubber now. And I mean completely full on raw rubber. Yeah, I'm just throwing it in there to go and basically despawn. I know. <laughs> Little silly, but it works. Um, and then what I may bother doing... I don't know. No, no, no. I was going to say what I may do is uh, send the... Uh, or create a... Like, a, just a random storage system. Uh, for stuff that's not in the infinite lockers yet, but then I realized that I can't do that easily Because if I do that then it will be full of like sand and rubber and obviously I don't want that so I'm gonna hold off on that and I guess I'll see I, I don't I Don't know I guess technically I could make a second system or I could actually deep I could probably delve deep into the advanced portions of the red or project red pipes and i could probably figure out how to do it but i haven't gotten that far in my studies yet uh but i'm getting there uh we are very very slowly doing some really cool things around here um i'll clean that up later uh, i really hope this works i really hope the pipes don't break when they do unload <sighs> The pipes seem to talk to each other. Like, uh, these uh, interface pipes here seem to talk to the ejector pipes. Or, well, actually, I guess technically the interface pipes seem to talk to the interface pipes. Unlike the ducts, which seem to be... I don't know what they are, really. But, uh, hopefully this works. I guess I'll find out. I'll let you guys know. Um... So I'm going to wrap it up here because my brain hurts and I've been recording for a long time and that doesn't include the time it took me to build these things because like uh, these things, the, the the chips themselves, like the pipes aren't that bad. The basic transport pipes, stone, glass panes. Well, I have infinite sand already and I had an entire chest full of smooth stone Plus, if I didn't have an entire chest full of smooth stone, I have an entire locker full of cobblestone that I could just turn into smooth stone. So they're easy. However, everything else requires these Illuminar. Illumar. Yeah, the Illumar. Uh, green Illumar, red Illumar. That's easy. I ha that's, that's actually why I now have a giant cactus farm going. Uh, the red Alumar, I had stacks and stacks of roses from when I cleaned out this area. And I will have more as I expand outwards. Um, so those were easy. Uh, the routed interface pipes, redstone, gold nuggets. I'm out of gold again. Went mining, got like two stacks of gold blocks. Out of gold again. Uh, but that that's partially my fault. That's because I build in bulk. Um... I mean, I have so much stuff that I'm not using right now. But it's good to have extra because I will be expanding the system. Uh, but those aren't the annoying ones. The annoying ones are like the responder chips with the orange Illumar chips, or orange Illumar. And I had no yellow whatsoever. Like, you need yellow to make... Yellow and, yellow and red make orange. I had no yellow whatsoever. And yellow doesn't spawn in my biome. The yellow flowers... I had to go around and hunt for yellow. And when I found it, I tried bone mealing it. So like bone meal, chop down the grass, bone meal, chop down the grass. Hopefully getting a bunch of yellow flowers. Eh -eh. Um, I don't know if it was the biomes I was in. What's with the light? Whoa. Hi, Enderman. Okay, I don't know what's up with the light, but it's just random light there. Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah, I had to hunt around for the yellow. <sighs> but I found these flowers that output magenta, which is exactly what you need for the broadcaster chips. You need the magenta Illumar. 
and I found something that actually outputted magenta dye directly, so I got like two stacks of that and used them all. <sighs> so fun stuff. Um, I'm I, I'm still quite enjoying this, and uh, so I'm going to end the episode here because, like I said, I am very very tired, and I'm going to say my normal sign offs. Um, please like, favorite, subscribe, comment all of the other fun YouTube things that I'm not 100% sure if they actually help me or not. I don't know. I do want to hear from you guys. Love reading your comments. Um, and I will say to you guys, as always, see you in the next episode. Keep playing the game and have fun. I totally mixed up my ending there. Whatever.